If Seemly's afraid of the authorities, she doesn't show it. Chukapu. Hello, hello, welcome. Would you like a pamphlet? I wouldn't much get used out of it, to be honest. Chukukua. Ah, you can't read. We have pictographic ones for your convenience. Totianata. The rise is a people's movement. Rise is a people movement. So we try to move people. Sunapota. Spiritually, I mean. Shakunapa. Uh, not sure I uh, get it. NPSG. Look, I just thought you maybe had some work. Uh, I could use work. Shiasaka. I've been disowned by my family, you see. The uh, the Bankwads. Tiaminase. The Bankwads. Wealthy estate with the sea views? Tansotena. Wait, that'd make you related to Malifi Bankward, wouldn't it? The Admiralty officer. Siaputia. A woulda. But like I said, she disowned me. Siaputia. Now I'm just trying to get by and uh, sure wouldn't mind taking a crack at a skull while I'm at it. Takipilshi. I see. Well, that's good timing. Fanapuhu. In fact, I do have a job for you, ex Bankward. You mentioned my sister. Is she a problem to you? Only in that she represents the strict enforcement of the status quo. I don't have anything against her personally, except, of course, her staggering privilege. Okay, I'll bite. What's that mean? As if you don't know, she's the only female heir of a Kradeshi dynasty. Everything was handed to her, from the commission to her secured future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, you know, you didn't hesitate to knock me out of the will. With twins, even. We shared an egg sack. You'd think that means something. You would think that. If I agree to help, I'm helping on this side in particular, right? We're making Smith a union boy? Yeah. Yeah. But if I do this, don't I have to betray Seemly? Hmm. What if I just went for Eden? I need to ask around a bit. No offense, but uh, I don't got a lot of friends right now. Five people love me, nine people like me. Smith's got more friends than I've had in many periods in my life. Oh, none taken. All I'm doing is gathering Tinder. I'm happy to wait for the spirit. Bark of resolu uh, revolution strikes. <laughs> Sympatico. All right, Eden. Let's talk to you. Finding Eden is easy enough, what with her being an important figure and all. Sure, hey, you Eden? Word is you might be looking for some help. Yeah, people. And what and whose word would that be? They don't deal with thugs. I hear you. You prefer uh, well-equipped allies? Know what I mean? Well-equipped? I'm not sure that I... Uh, folks who got a lot of neat tools. And how to use them. Look, I don't make... <laughs> I don't like your tone much. And I... Uh, tools to go pow because they got spark coming out of them. Oh. Oh. It doesn't seem like subterfuge is your skill set exactly. Hey, don't sell me short. You think I'm here just for the shills? I want revenge on a certain someone. First name rhymes with Bullaby. Last name with... Lame... Quad? And my friends, the, uh... Tools? They told me you'd be able to get me at that. Huh. I might have work for you after all. So you, uh, you hate Bullaby too, right? Because that's why I came back here. To get, uh, get a Bullaby. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh, that was bad. That was real bad. What I do know is that you're going to do a job for me. Then you'll return here for a reward. Eh, it's getting worse the entire time. Ah. Anyway, I'm not going to commentate on that too much. And if you play your cards right, the rewards will include some information on where you might find Bullaby? Bullaby. Pretty help. So, Petate. You know what I think, officer? I think you and I might just be in business. Really? You've probably heard about the dry synthesizers here in Pearl. It's so typical of our domestics. Aspire to grandeur, but cast their lots, their lot, cast their lots with the dead dodges and contactors in the rest of Haveria. 
We got dibs on wanting a better life. The only better life for them is in Deltry. And they're welcome to buy themselves a one-way ticket. I have a list of suspects here. I want you to confront them. Then confront them, confront them, and put an end to their plans. And they make an example of them. For anyone who might be getting teachy. You got specifics? That was a lot of vague talk for some very rough work. These are domestics we're talking about. If any of the employees complain, complain, we can offer a recompense. Otherwise, it's a fair game. Treat them as, treat them as you would a pierced. I doubt any of them. <laughs> eh, it wanders too much. Changing. Uh, I doubt any of them have information that I'd value, but they do. Well, that's just a bonus. All right, I guess. I didn't want to do that that way. Well. Let's take it from the top. You find Zerl doing some luxury shopping. I'll see you soon. How's it going, friend? Uh, are you talking to me? Can you even afford anything in here? It's not a payment from Pearl. Uh, convince her she's in danger. Beat her up. Ask about the rise. Ask about the rise first. What do your rise buddies say if they saw you throwing around in this kind of scratch? The rise? Do I look like a member of the rise to you? I mean, having Zerl dislike me isn't that bad, right? That's not a voice of the people buff right there. Hmm. But I want money as well. Yeah, let's do it. Listen, bud, I don't care one way or the other about the Admiralty and the Rise. But, uh... I've been meant to make an example out of you. I'm getting paid to do it, but I could also be paid not to do it. What do you say? Mm, too intimidated and accepted uh, constantly. That's not good for us. Okay. Start by trying to take down the back line. Maybe this is the fight I use the Admiralty Intel. Uh, whenever I destroy one of Zerl's. They incept to intolerance. Huh? So they have they have tolerance, which makes my hand smaller. I don't love that. Well, actually, I have buffer in hands. I should just use that then. And then I even have the ability to defend correctly. Perfect. They incept all right, or incept is put in the other person's. Got it, got it, got it. Uh well, no draw in this hand. Known thug is actually becoming a little bit. A little bit laborious to carry around. Thanks for defense there, and then we're done. It has replenish, it's value neutral. Does it have replenish? No, it doesn't. No replenish on that. Uh, Networker is getting even closer to the level up. Love to see it. That plus tall brag and yeah, yes. Stone name drop too. Not as half as convincing as you think you are. I think I'm at least twice as convincing as you think I am. Uh, start of Zell's turn, remove all the renowns from both negotiate. Well, obviously, I had to take that out. DQ, 
High places now only costs two. I could throw it out right now. Honestly, it's it's not bad. It's their six damage that's targeting my influence. That's a bit a bit. How's it going? I think we'll try and defend ourselves then. So, Bravado attack twice with this card. Three and four. Okay, we're short still. It's fine. We only take one damage ourselves. And we get an extra turn's worth of uh, experience, I guess, at least. Nice. Gang Pendant is now leveled up to start of each combat, gain five renown, love it. So we're already going to be drawing, wait, hang on, is that? <laughs> That's gonna draw us a card in the opening turn with Lumen Relic already. Love to see it. Spend four renown, gain two influence. The thing is I only need, uh, I only need one influence, and then that's already good enough. I'm going to decline here again. Alright, alright. Keep your voice down, I have a reputation to maintain. Now tell me who your other contract is. They never let me know their name, but the code name is Ledger. I'll have to do. Now back to your rich friends. Uh, keep your head down. Ledger sounds like something administrative. That narrows it down a bit, but you don't have a positive ID yet. Right. Second part of From the Top. You find Grot addressing a small crowd of the faithful. And so we must consider Hesh's indifference not only to be a divine gift, but also a temporary one. Hesh will notice us all in good time. Wait, so uh, Hesh hasn't noticed me yet? If Hesh noticed you, you would know, Crypto. Convince she's in damage, beat her up. Mm, Ask about the rice. And she? Tell me this, has the, uh, has Hesh noticed you palling around with the rice? What? Uh, no, I mean, I'm not palling around with the rice. The rice are a criminal organization and I'm a law abiding member of the cult of Hesh. The Admiralty yeah, knows you've been going off message in a little of your sermons. They don't like the parts about oppression and injustice and whatnot. Perfect. Still not much drawing the opening hands though. Stone name drop. God, I guess I just take three damage here. No real ability to defend myself. That said, at the very least, at the start of the next turn, I'm drawing an extra card. Nice. Visionary to draw three more and then tall contracts for even more. Nice. That looks good to me. 14. We're one short of high places being free. Huh? Or are we? Hmm. I think we still are, right? We want to keep influence, so I have to use Focus Fall Guy and put that on something else, like uh, most of the people. Networker and Contracts, both real good, real compelling plays here. We'll start with Contracts, because we want as much renown as possible. And maybe able to get back to Contracts again. I'll do it. If this is destroyed, Smith loses 30 shield. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that one, obviously. I didn't target that. Not personally, at least. Why? We're even more powerful with the higher renown now. 
pass. It's going to be real difficult to get me to take any cards. All right, I hear what you're saying. Uh, I have been recruiting for the rise, but that's it's because that's what's right. Hesh isn't going to help anyone in this life, so I figured I might as well. Yeah, yeah, down with the system. Who's the handler? Don't have one. They leave me dead drops or when I rise the uh, raise or lower the blinds on my window. Not much of a conversation, is it? Yeah, well, means that nobody can give the game away when goons like you come to call. <sighs> right, here's my cipher. You cipher for your blinds? Hey, it's more complicated than you think. Now leave me alone. The code is indeed very complex, but you managed to glean some information from it. You're almost at a breakthrough. You feel like you need a few more clues to really break it. So let's go get the final ones and eat it. You find Edlet laughing with some co-workers beside a pile of unpacked freight. Hey, shouldn't you be working? We're on break, Grifter. What's your excuse? Hmm. That's a hard fight right there. You might hurt their eyes, because if folks see you leaning on your shovel like that. Just saying. Piana as I said, we're on break. Why would I care what the Rise thinks? Convince him he's in danger. I think that's probably the best pass here. Listen, I get it. Lifting's hard. That's why I rarely lift a finger. But the Admiralty has your number. They sent me to collect it. Hmm. Start out with the prestigious associates. Nice, just in case we get country nepotism, which we do. Give me the ability to contact for a huge amount there. We're still short on stone standing, but we can extremely over defend. Hmm, tall contracts, tall bra- oh my god. The enemies- oh wait, I was about to say the enemy's not even attacking this turn. They are, they're just hidden. Hey, we got past Known Thug, that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm totally fine with that taking the seven, right? It takes seven, then it overflows three to me, but that gets blocked. Must be targeted before anything else. This argument is removed at the end of the turn. Network. And then maybe get another network out. One time an enemy is going to target Raps' Renown and he'll instantly lose the negotiation. Thankfully, I have a lot of defensive cards in the deck. Maybe I have too few defensive cards in the deck to defend the Renown perfectly, but also if my Renown is very high, I've probably already killed the enemy. card for the draw thank you nope I'll see you whatever the rise is giving you can't be worth the hassle huh yes, yes, yes. Just give me a name and we'll both forget about it oh, fine the rise promised to be better in the future but I can't buy food with promises. Yeah, yeah, I didn't ask for your life story. Just tell me who the contact is. It's me. Just that part of an address. That'll have to do. I keep quiet about this or I'll be back. Uh, sure, whatever. The address is in a richer part of town. It's clean out. Card with a clerk is working both sides. You've determined the card was working with the rise. This could prove a lucrative secret. I can tell Eden what happened. So optional is to confront card with myself. Let's do the optional. You boss down Cardwa's door and catch her reading a rise pamphlet. We're on the hush or go. Just a concerned citizen. You can't batch into my home, Grifter. Get out. Say, is that uh, seditious material you're reading uh, there? What? No, uh, no, it's... Spam you already. I talked to your puppets. I know what's up. <laughs> right, what do you want? You have a cushy job with the Admiralty. Why are you risking that to work with the Rise? Well, 
Insert good reason here. Yeah, good point. So I guess uh, you're thinking that makes me the bad guy here. Yeah? A member of the Admiralty will help me each day, right? Isn't that the benefit I get from making her love me? Hmm. I could extort, get money from it, as well as still keep the secret. Honestly, that kind of, is that the best of both worlds? Hmm. I gotcha. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm just tracking you down to warn you to be more careful. The secret's safe with me. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Crafter. You're a true friend of the Rise. Now, I'll leave my house. And please never come back again. That's a hotel, not a house? Once per day, you can ask a nearby Admiralty to help you in a battle negotiation. Eh, I don't really care about the benefit from that. Gonna get on your employee's bad side? Oh no. You are set upon by a small group of brides. Hold up right there. You've been talking dangerous questions, Grifter. Now, uh, I know you people only do for... What? Now, I know you people only do things for money, so I'm not going to take personal offense. I'll even cut you a deal. Give us a donation. Tell us who's pulling your strings and we'll let you live. I'm not giving you all my money. I mean, I am protecting the brides, so... Hey, I'm uh, protecting your interests with my dangerous questions. Start of the turn, a random, uh, uh, random card in hand costs one extra action. This negotiation, got it. Definitely tall contract time. Ten damage to my resolve. Oof. We're one short again on high places actually being free. So I gotta take the defense where I find it. Insert one propaganda card into Smith's draw pile at the sub. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, go leave him there. Enemies attacking for 10 each turn. Hmm. Okay, at least we found the ability to defend there. We got one more action. Sure, let's get the influence now. Bit over to you. Oh, this one's simple, actually. Gain Renown equal to the damage dealt by that card. Gives us the ability to play high places. Tall brag and let him die. One out of three. Oh, network up. Networker and networks work together quite well, as you might imagine. Overdrive. This comes pre upgraded by one. The base card not expend. Uh... All right. Let's find a way to use that. The Admiralty wanted me to break some rice bones. I'm just there to keep the heat off you guys. I guess that's noble. You're damn right it is. You should be paying me a donation. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Carry on, Grifter, but know that we're watching you. Haggle badge for a better deal and then t like tell her that I screwed it all up. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little more money. T 
Oh my god. Uh, do I just... Do I try and extend the fight so that I can actually play Overdrive and get a level out of it? Or, or wait for contracts? Or do I just... Well, I mean, what high places also needs experience, so... <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, fine, I'll give you an additional 147 shills if you finish the job. That comes to 247. You better not fail. I'm back. Was the message understood? Does anyone ever really understand anyone? Incompetence. Utter incompetence. I put forth my best effort. That's got to count for some, right? If that was your best effort, I feel sorry for you. I'm going to keep that secret. Glad to be of service. You're dismissed. Well, seems you're not a complete ignoramus. Just so happens we could be in business? Hey, that's what I like to hear. Of course, I did some digging. I like to know who I'm working with. You didn't mention Bullyby is your sister. She ain't. I did not dig that pallet up yet. So I, I lost like 287 in order to get that. I got disowned. Well, that complicates things, makes it messier, and I don't like mess. So kindly leave before anyone sees us talking for too long. We'll discuss the situation more later, when we can speak plainly. Alright. Party Storm might still have something in the way of a battle graph that I might want to keep an eye out for. All cards gain plus one to their minimum damage, up to their maximum damage. That's actually going to be relatively good for us, right? Makes it easier for us to hit our, um, our thresholds. Wretched Jar, whenever you play six or more cards in a single turn, play a random card in your hand with a random target. It's pretty good, too. Uh, at the start of your turn, take one piercing damage. Oh, uh, so that's, you know, charge your moxie every turn. Poor chaussee. Whenever a friendly argument is destroyed, deal two damage to a random opponent argument. There's also composure cards gain. Ooh. I just compose. That's that's good. Uh, and then another memorization implant. I'm not going to be able to take any of those, though. Let's have a look at the cards that Steven is selling, though. Massacres. Whenever you take damage on your turn, gain adrenaline. Eh. Uh, for the rest of the turn, no, we've seen it all before. Expend two empty bottles from your deck, apply two wound. Eh. Executive. This card deals double damage. Renown 10, this card deals triple damage. That would have been really good for us. Shame. And then we can remove a battle card for 150. And honestly, like, that's probably what I'm going to want to do. Because, again, the battle deck is the one that we need to cycle as quickly as possible. But I don't know if we need to do that just yet. Let's go to the ambush. I fee you uh, ready for scheming? I don't scheme. I anticipate. Yeah, sure. Like you anticipated Vix wouldn't like Lumicites in his pajamas. The trap for Eden is to be perfect. I've worked too hard on my position to have it mired in controversy. You know, Dad would have said there was no mud you couldn't have bribed your way out of. Tell that to the great beaching. As for Eden, she won't be able to resist an opportunity to see me thoroughly disgraced. So that's probably the opportunity to draw her into ambush? No problem. I'll just tell her about that time you swapped Vix's gill gel for pepper rub. I doubt that'd be sufficient. Here's the location we'll set up the ambush. I trust you'll think of something more enticing. Let's go! Bruce still there. Uh, sorry, just go yo for the Ashnu time now. See you're alive. So, uh, Eden, we had some good times, you and I. We gotta move on to bigger, better things, right? I got a little present for you, just know how much I care. I'd rather not have any evidence that we've ever associated when this is all over. And that's the gift. Turns out I got evidence Molophy ain't so clean. She's my twin after all. Hmm. I'm listening. Hmm. Should we now draw a card to start with at the absolute least? Nice. Go for the tall contracts, a single renown keep there. Sure. 
Can actually get enough composure on that turn. Uh, our composure is actually feeling kind of bad. What's her core argument? Her core argument is uh, incept a straw man or a planted evidence chosen randomly if neither exists. As much as I want to use overdrive, I also don't want to use overdrive. Yeah, I get to use high places instead. That's uh, that's good enough. So I'm going to be taking four damage here. Yeah, Flourish isn't going to help me though. Hey, Ams. New character is super rad so far. Really unique playstyle. Let's hit both of those and hope we draw back to the original. We don't, and they're definitely going to go down this turn anyway. Kill them. At least we get the high places upgrade. And Lumen Relic. Uh, we're going to be drawing two cards at the start of almost every turn. Hell yeah. High places we want to upgrade its damage. Amnesty. Shield all friendly arguments until the start of your next turn. All friendly arguments, including my own. They can't take any damage. This is Apparition, right? Okay. Funny thing, when your parents die, you find out all sorts of dirty secrets. Turns out Molophy isn't as self-made as she likes to claim. I know uh, exactly where she's going to be, trying to clean up our mess our parents left for her. Hmm, means we'll actually have to catch her in the act, right? Suppose that'll cover our bases. Evidence of misdeeds, a reason to strike, if she resists arrest. Yeah, pretty sure we can make that happen. Anything's possible. Very well, Smith. Let's chase this plan of yours. Take me to your sister. Just don't expect me to tolerate any sentimentality when the time comes. I don't at all. Whether it's impatience or doubt, Molophy wastes no time springing her trap. She slips into view like a predator, ready to spill blood. Side with Molophy or protect Ethan? Well, uh, side with Molophy, I think. We can only be so duplicitous. Been a long time since we fought back to back, huh? Just make sure not to stab me in it. That would bring down my accuracy stats. This was a trap? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I would have told you sooner, but that's not how traps work. Well, yeah, she'll hate me, but she'll also be deceased. The smart enough to not trust a grifter, partner. I had backup trailers. Now are you going to die? The start of each negotiation gained five planted evidence. Definitely don't want that. All right. She has Metal Stone, uh, grant six extra to metal if I kill her at the end of the fight. Nate. Uh, she hates Smith and she'll always attack me. Rude. And then Goon. Oh, God. The Goon is actually going to give 10 defense every single turn. Don't like that. Start with the Visionary. Push it. Hmm. I mean, I kind of want to get Goon Party to panic first and then focus on Regional Commander. I mean, I say I kind of want to do that and then I'm not going to, though. I, I refuse. This is probably a fight for a Battle Flourish, though. Should have done that first. Wait. Formation is removed when health is lost and regained at the end of party. Oh, right. So if I just hit them once every... Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I did not know that. And now I do. Thank you for making me know that. Good overdrive right there. 14 damage on the first turn's pretty good. Energized. Uh, their next attack applies... Three Lumen Burnt if it causes health loss. Ooh, it's looking like it's going to cause health loss as well.
Deal two damage to a random enemy whenever I draw a card. Guess I'm looking for like weakening stuff to a target or something. Expend an empty bottle. Buy an impair that'll weaken you. Incoming is now only eight. Which, had I have handled this turn correctly, would have been fine. It's fine still, because we have the Pale Bottle to hurl? Hell yeah! Woo! Smith always comes out on top! Foreign coming to me is from regional commander. Green party's attacking the other way. I can defend myself super easily here. Should probably check the boosted flask first, I think. Play the flask again. Getting to drink again. Getting to drink again. This underdriver is now 15 defense. It's pretty good. There we go. We've set them up with trauma. And then I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to wait this turn. Right? Nine damage across. Goon party doesn't do anything this turn. No defending of allies. I don't even need to heal this turn either. Wow. Uh, although, I should try and draw a more powerful card, if possible. Doesn't look like it is, though, so let's draw three cards. Hmm. Oh, an empty bottle at him if we can as well. How? Snell expires literally just for the heal, and then. Lock for six. It's more than enough. So the goon party is going to have their effect come out this turn. Somehow, I think I'm going to be okay with that. Bash and Obliterate are great cards to go out this turn. Good experience gain. All right. It's one down. Oh, and they're actually just going to be straight up murdered. Hell yeah. Six bonus medal. Uh, pale Bottle Hunt. Pale Bottle Hurl, sir. We can totally do that. And then Threshold to draw three cards. Also, keep on digging as much as we need. There. Oh, and the stun level's up too. Oh, sorry, the bash level's up too. Man. All enemy Admiralty gain one power at the start of battle. That's so small. I don't care about that. Admiralty Intel, I got two of those now. Uh, apply five Lumen Burnt. Lumen Burnt, whenever an enemy removes all... Sorry, whenever an attack removes all owner defense, take a damage. Reduce Lumen Burnt by one at the end of the turn. That seems... Tiny. Eh, I guess I'll take the rolling bash as well there. Not 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 thrilled. And then the enhanced told him definitely for the more moxie. I feel like I should just start trashing some of my equipment cards. They feel bad. 
If your opponent has trauma, this deals double damage. Oof. That... We don't... We don't do enough trauma stuff for that to really be what we should do. Malfi checks the body before nodding once in satisfaction. Good work. Cleaner than I expected. And you're not there, uh, you lot underestimate me too much. So what you gonna do now, anyway? You got your enemy out of the way, it won't be long before you make more. So no offense, Fee, but kinda hard to get along with these days. You used to be fun. And you used to be present. But you've done the favor you promised, and I'll respond in kind. When you approach Fix Molly, you can trust that I'll support you. Well, does that mean I'm going to have two people on my side? Is, is my other brother going to be there? Okay. The person who hates me is not drinking at that bar. They're obviously not going to be in the party store either. Alright. Spend some more metal. Uh, starting with more money is also really good. That's probably another direction I want to go in. Because these, like the 30s, are pretty expensive we're getting diminishing returns with those upgrades in terms of how much we can get for a single point of metal that said them starting with two bonus experience hmm. oh yeah skipping for bonus shields i can't believe i actually forgot about that one I do that super commonly. Good point, well made. Tay Finale, talk to Tay Utaru. Good to see you again, Smith. Well, thanks, Tay. It's nice to hear. Most people think I'm a little too gruff to receive a little sincerity every now and then, you know? Ah, well, I sincerely hope you're up for a little assassination. Whoops. What the hash, Tay? Your brother's right hand, Palatriax, has been using the beaching as a license to anoint as many new priests as possible. The only problem is his selection methods, priest selling the priesthood to the highest bidder. I'd like you to approach Palatriax as an aspirant, get him alone, and then eliminate him. That's a big ask. It's a big ask, killing a bishop. That's a big ask, killing a bishop. And what exactly do you intend to do with Vix Molly when you get to him? Well, uh, I get to wear a funny hat? Of course, you need to look the part. So, Petate? How can Palatriax just slap on a priesthood on a bunch of goons at once? Aren't there initiations and doodads gotta be done? Normally, yes, but these are exceptional times. Pearl on the Foam has been declared holy territory. Technically, Anything the upper echelons do is inherently sanctioned by Hash. So if uh, you stop him, what did that make you? A luminari. I go where I'm pointed, and I do what needs to be done. And the consequences are mine alone. No offense, but... No offense, but... Uh, bribes aren't the standard way priests get chosen? I beg your pardon? Vix Molly didn't uh, become a Hessian because he was drawn to cult. My folks paid big, big tithes, and in return he got the place at that fancy school. Well, yes. The church honors the devout with the chance for clerical study. Right. And then those students become priests. I see your point. But they've also applied themselves to study for years. The priest's palatry acts seeks to anoint are alien to the clergy. They seek only to profit from the chaotic upheaval. Hi. Give me that funny hat then. I'll kill your bishop for you. Remember, if you get caught... Yeah, yeah, you were none the wiser. The clothes fit surprisingly well and cozily. Hell, I want that outfit. It's rad as hell. How do I look? Quite striking, actually. Perhaps your family sent the wrong son to the cult. No way. The role would have been terrible at it. <laughs> Let's go. I'll do my best not to embarrass you. Appreciated. This isn't the finale, right? 
We killed Palatriax. We don't have we don't have the the competition with the brother. I don't think. Getting close to the Great Beaching is difficult, but with the Luminari at your side, you're able to push through the glut of pilgrims. You see what must be Palatriax standing knee deep in fishy excreta, daubing slime onto the foreheads of those gathered near. Before you can get too close, however, you and Teutaro both stopped by armed guards. Hold it. Only got Savannah allowed here. Not gonna force my way through there. Teutaro is good to help, though. The Losaki. Yield, you lowborn slug. I'm uh, gonna become a priest. I got the Luminari to prove it. I just want it to be socially acceptable for more of my clothing to be glowing blue like that. Me too. Mood. Oof. Just want to be able to walk out of a rave onto the main street, you know? Two things that I don't do ever. But I'd like to be able. Uh, yeah. I don't need the Admiralty Intel, so I'm going to use at least one here. So far good, yeah. So far good, yeah. Two more cards at the start of each turn. So hype. Contracts. Good, good, good. I really wish I could just overdrive, though. The Q Horsa. Okay. Let's go for the network of the. Nice. Then tall contracts gives me enough to be able to play boosted high places. And that's lethal. That's negotiation, baby. Uh, yeah, make it tall. Second amnesty. Honestly, that's just between me and my damage at this point. This man is a member of the clergy of Sludge by the Sea. The bishop sent me here to see him honored with odes at the Great Beaching. <laughs> well, as long as he's of noble birth, Palatriax doesn't want pilgrims coming in too close. The noblest. Uh, the noblest. <laughs> noblest. Not even related to Vix Molly Bankwad. I'm even related, rather. The Hessians are gathered in a patch of sandy coral, exposed by a neap tide. A great beast is chained up at the water's edge, its leash taut. The bishop stands just outside the beast's reach, performing the consecration rite for a line of aspirant priests. You can't quite see what they're doing, but it's probably not fun. If Teotaro were here, she'd probably tell you what's expected, but she isn't. You join the line, continuing your lifelong habit of improvising along the path of least resistance. <laughs> <laughs> As you wait your turn, you watch the others each offer a sacrifice to the spawn. Ceremonial daggers, family tapestries, and vagrant age relics are all choked down by the beast. Ah, uh, supplicant. You are here called by the tides, yes? And what sacrifice did you bring to pledge yourself to the abyss? <laughs> what? 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 Uh, no. Stick your hand in the beast's mouth. Puts the bishop into the beast's mouth! Ah, okay. Love it. Ask about the truck. Uh, forgive me, say, uh, uh, I've traveled far and I'm uh, unfamiliar with the practice. Huh. No, most parishes wouldn't be. This is the trial by sport. In olden days, Kodeshi supplicants would make corporeal offerings to a beast of the sea. The practice was found out lord by other races, who found it too debilitating, but I have reinstated it. You may offer material goods if the beast accepts your token, then Hesh finds you worthy. If the beast accepts your token, then you've passed. Is there a suggested value in the goods? Traditionally a hand, or one of the less vital organs. But today... <sighs> Why don't you show me what you're offering? And I'll tell you whether you need to up the ante. I'm, uh, offering a priest. Alatriax is so busy being full of himself that he never sees it coming. You pantomime outrageously as you prepare to trip, hurling him directly into the beast's ravenous maw. It's over with one gulp, and the other priest shriek in alarm. Uh-oh. Think we might have given it the taste for Hessians? Sure enough, the beast tears away from its chain and mooring in the sand and attacks. Ah! 
draw one extra card at the start of a negotiation. Neat, but also... <laughs> hey, Tazebat! Oh boy. I can't say I'm trained for this, but uh, I'm not really trained for anything. That is big. Uh, Colossal. I can stun him on turn one, Nate. Uh, Drode takes one bonus damage from all attacks. Increase by one whenever Drode is hit. Reset to one at the start of Drode's turn. Neat. Attacking three times is pretty good, that. But also I want my Moxie. Do I want my Moxie? I'm not being attacked this turn. I don't think I want my Moxie. So Smith's Hammer for one-on-one, -on -one, and then we obliterate to stun you. And then... One, two, three. Did you take five bonus damage from all of those attacks? Or ramping up over the course of it, not from all of them, obviously. You don't look like you did. Oh, okay. Doing multi-hits. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Like it and love it, and I want more of it. Hit him with a boosted flask. Definitely draw. Lumen Darts. Two damage to a random enemy when I draw a card. Two damage to a random enemy when I draw a card. Two damage to a random enemy when I draw a card. None of that increased Colossal. Unfortunately. 1-1-1 one, one, one only ever deals three damage. Oh! Right, so it would have increased... Wait. Would it... in? Does it increase the, the damage that my card deals when I hit an enemy and they got the Colossal? I guess. Right, okay. So it's not like external of that. They take the extra damage. Got it. Because it has restrained. I could use Underdriver to save my ally here if I really wanted to. Let's start with the Visionary push it first, though. And then Visionary Blow is 3 to 5 right now? Let's expend the pale, right? And then visionary blow should be four. Perfect. So we get to draw a bunch more cards. Nice. Overdriver is currently like almost 20 damage. I can't turn that down, can I? But also, I could apply the Lumen Burn. Whenever an attack removes all owner's defense, take a damage. That seems so minimal. I think we do damage. So you have chosen damage. Jord is applying a status effect. No, a status effect will be applied by Lei. And yeah, they are applying a status effect as well. Okay. Well, both can be true. All right, boosted flask. I have an empty bottle, but that is power. Spending as many cards as I possibly can so that I can cycle through my deck a lot faster. Okay, Lumen Blast can probably go out this turn, but first let's get Trauma. There you go, build up a bunch of Moxie. I'll leave the Empty Bottle in the deck. No, I won't. Nice. Because now we're already drawing into the new cycle. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. This threshold play with the, the boosted dynamo is exactly what we needed. I'm so glad we made that decision. But 
But they have no defense. They never generate defense. So when is the Lumen Burnt ever going to... Uh... Ooh, okay. We'll go 1-1-1. One, one, one. Get him traumatized. And then boost a drop kick for 36 damage. Get dropped and kicked and boosted, but certainly traumatized. Hmm. I should probably defend my ally at some point here, right? Maybe. Okay, impairing the enemy here is pretty big. What with the damage they're doing to both of us. And I will... Honestly, I'm going to defend my ally before I even defend myself. But then I will also defend myself. You know. Just for fun. I want to exclude both of these from the new draw pile, so I'm going to actually play the empty bottle now. Hmm. Visionary push it definitely goes out. Not what I was hoping for. Uh, ooh, empty bottle is my only pale bottle at the moment. Let's use visionary blow for the draw and see what we do then. I want to re-traumatize the enemy. I don't really know if that's necessary. Well, I mean, they have 100 extra. But also, I'm getting more strong all the time. Draw card is Moxie Increase. Smith Boosted Flask might actually give us the draw to get into the next cycle. Yeah, let's flourish. Why not? Cheers. <laughs> uh, right, let's go. Man, some hand weirdness there. Draw three cards. Visionary brig. Big brain. All right, and then we pull a pale bottle at him. Hit him with the moxie. Draw three cards more. Nice. Very, very nice. In that turn, heal 16 from our Moxie. Eagle Ren, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. Enjoy much in chat. Welcome to the Republic. Uh, oh my god, visionary blow. Be ah. still my visionary heart. What do we got in here, though? Gain of power. Probably should have done that earlier in the uh, turn. I guess. Let's chomp on a sandwich. Not that we need it. I love that Smith's order of operations is invade enemy personal space. Drink entire drink. Smash them with the bottle. <laughs> it does really feel like those could be inverted in some way. I'm certain of it. Kick him. Uh, Drode Tail Spike applies two wound and it's an expend. Overdrive, don't need that. Simmer, hostile, no. And this, okay, cool. We'll pass all of those two. Tough and angry, gain two defense. Increased by one for each power and adrenaline. So second cycle, that suddenly becomes a good block card for us. I don't think I need it. I think we just pay, uh, we turn down everything at this point, frankly. The beast is dead and the Hushins have scurried, leaving you alone with Tay. Well, that was an unfortunate complication. What now? Well, you got out of here before there are any questions you find difficult to answer. I'll find you later. I guess you will. See ya.
Alright, Marif. Wait, hang on, there's a... Is that... How many days are there for Smith? I thought we were at the end of the... I guess, let's go to the back room. Uh, there was a battle draft I was looking at, bottom edge. I honestly don't think I need that though. I think more than any of that, I just want to remove cards. Um, bravado, get out of here. Then remove a battle card as well. Drop kicks can easily get out of here. Like we get out of control ourselves pretty easily. Yeah, don't need it. Perfect. That's about as uh, about as well as we could do. Let's go to the metal. Uh, I only have five metal. That's not going to be enough for anything. Should have probably stayed and purchased shills instead. Oops. All right, let's head to our room. Back in the hideaway, you and Marif catch up. Sweet Marif opens the door behind the bar for you. Go to sleep. End of day three. Nice. Only one person hates me. I've removed cards. Gained a few, but not that many. You wake up feeling groggy in the morning light. Smith Brawl unlocked. You've unlocked a new game mode for Smith. Focus on the card play and test out new strategies in Brawl. The next time you start a run. Smith Story. Congratulations. You made it to the end of Smith Story so far. Watch the clay forums for updates. We'll be adding more soon. So we lost one at the start. That is the first run that we did last week. Uh, and then I kind of feel like we dunked this one like hardcore. Feeling pretty good about it. Double down, uh, choose a card in hand, play it twice and then expend it. There's also dissect, duplicate a friendly argument and halve the resolve of both arguments. Duplicate the next argument created is insistence. Power and adrenaline are effective twice on this card. Hammer down, nice. Uh, power trip, gain an adrenaline. If you had no adrenaline, gain an additional two adrenaline. And then there's also drink, gain two power, expand Pinto Pore. It's just great. I'd probably put that in most decks. Hey, we also get another set of items. <laughs> and another outfit. Uh, refusal. Create. When you spend renown with a card, deal two damage to a random enemy argument. Immunity. Spend up to four renown. Apply one composure. Per renown spent to all friendly arguments. Those kind of seem a little weak. Uh, spend up to two renown. Create a bait argument with two maximum resolve per renown spent. Hmm. Making sure you had a working battle deck this time help. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the first decision I made of like, all right, we're going to take a battle card here because otherwise I'm going to start neglecting it. I, I felt myself veering towards neglecting it at the end of the run as well, so. Definitely true. You spend up to two empty bottles from your deck, gain two, uh, three defense per bottle. Discard empty bottle, discard, uh, sorry, discard empty bottles from your hand and draw that many cards. Eh, neat. Uh, recycle, expend up to two empty bottles from your deck, heal two per bottle. Neat. Oh. Didn't get another one, but we do unlock Prestige 1 for Smith. All right. Well. That was Grifflin's uh, Smith story at the moment. When Smith's story is uh, officially complete and is uh, officially out, uh, I'll definitely do a YouTube series for it. Whether or not that ends up getting recorded on Twitch, but then goes to YouTube uh, with as few sidetracks and diatribes as as this current uh, current run had we'll see we'll see i really depend on the time it comes out 